Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Rangers Ready Go. Today we're going to talk about uh, Shattered Grid a little bit more. Um, more specifically, this fall from the YouTube channel Bat in the Sun, they are set to release a short film based off of the video game Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Um, the trailer's out. It's on several different uh, YouTube channels right now. They're just then they're they're even showing it in between uh, watching random videos on YouTube, just as you know, a, 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 you know, a normal advertisement. Um, if any of you don't know, Bat in the Sun is a YouTube channel um, where they basically they love superheroes. They love they well they love comic books. Let's let's put it that way. They love anything and everything comics. Uh, DC, Marvel, uh, Power Rangers, uh, Street Fighter, and that's why it brings me to. Um, why I'm talking about this today because if anybody knows what the Power Rangers Legacy Wars video game is it's it's a Power Rangers fighter it's a Power Rangers uh, fighting video game uh, that features even Street Fighter characters now thanks to a deal recent DLC pack um, and that's all well and fine we've done crossovers with Power Rangers before we've had uh, uh, Power Rangers crossover with DC characters with the Justice League and DC comics and we've had um, even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover with Power Rangers when it came to Power Rangers um, in space uh, way back in like 1996, 1996 I want to say, which that was awful. I'm not going to get into that right now. That'll just, that'll just traumatize me even more. But um, as I said, um, I'm talking about the Power Rangers Legacy Wars short film set to release this fall from YouTube channel Bat in the Sun. Uh, where do I get started on this? Um, wow. <laughs> um, you all know my opinion on Shattered Grid and what a hot mess that is. Um, I just don't care for it because they're out to change and, and degrade what we already know as Power Ranger fans to be um, the accurate, true lore the past the history of everything how everything is supposed to happen shattered grid just basically throws all that out the window and let's uh, let's see what happens if we make some of our favorite power rangers bad guys the power rangers are not supposed to be bad guys but then again people have wild vivid imaginations so i i can't argue with that i've got a huge imagination myself again Getting back to the whole crossover thing, it's not so bad that they are crossing over um, Street Fighter with Power Rangers. Again, that's totally fine. Um, from the YouTube channel Bat in the Sun, we've even seen them do things like uh, the Green Ranger versus uh, versus Ryu from Street Fighter. Um, and I, I actually really liked that. That was actually really cool. Um, didn't care how or for what reason they changed the Green Ranger's suit. They updated it to make it look a little bit different. Some people like it, some people don't. Me, I'm an oldies, you know, our goldies kind of guy, and I think the original Green Ranger suit was just fine. There wasn't, you didn't need to change anything about it. It was awesome the way it was. Well, all things aside, as I'm watching this trailer, I start to notice, well, Jason David Frank, obviously, um, otherwise best known as the original Green Ranger, or at least the original Green Ranger from Power Rangers anyway. Uh, White Ranger, Red Ranger, two Red Rangers actually, uh, Zeo and Turbo, and Dino Thunder Black Ranger, which is probably one of my favorite Rangers, like singular Rangers of all time. I mean, I even got a tattoo from Dino Thunder for the Black Ranger, and I do cosplay of him and everything. They tried to make him bad. Sorry, I paused there for a second, but like they're apparently fighting the Dino Thunder Black Ranger in the same room at the same time where JDF is also fighting somebody, which again makes no sense because JDF, Jason David Frank, Tommy is the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. So, but again, with this whole shattered grid thing, they're trying to make it to where Tommy's not that ranger anymore that tommy is only either the green ranger the white ranger or this lord draken and you all know my opinion on lord draken and i just can't stand it whatsoever again some of you might find it cool might find it entertaining or interesting that's totally fine go for it but me i don't like it 
I don't like it at all. Um, I'll uh, I'll leave a, a a link in the video at the um, at the end of this. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link at the end of this video uh, to my other uh, video talking about uh, Lord Draken and Shattered Grid, and uh, you'll get my full opinion on that there. Um, but this is the main thing that I wanted to mention. This whole short film, I even wouldn't be told, I, you know, so against it, you know, because, you know, it's a Power Rangers short film. It's got JDF in it. He's great. Everything he's in is great. My only problem is, is Ryu. If anyone out there knows Street Fighter, if you know Ryu, the character, he's already strong and, you know, pretty powerful enough on his own as it is. In this trailer, Jason David Frank gives Ryu a power coin and says, can you handle the power? It's morphin' time. And Ryu changes into a goddamn Power Ranger. Sorry for my language, but I... I saw this trailer for the first time about a week ago. And again, like I've said before, I sit on stories, I like to see how things develop, but so far, everything is just basically escalating, as usual, to the nth degree. And it's already off the charts, uh, people's expectations, and how excited people are to see this character. Um, there's He's already a character in the game, um, Power Rangers Legacy Wars, um, which I do believe it's a, uh, it's a, it's a PC-only game, correct me if I'm wrong, um, which is a little bit lame, because it's been... It's been 20, 25 years since we had a, a decent Power Rangers fighter game, um, and that came out back on the Super Nintendo. You release a Power Rangers game nowadays with all these different Rangers and all these different series that would make all these characters that could be in this great this one great fighting game, and yet it's only for PC. What about console users? Myself, I have an Xbox One. I would prefer to just play using a controller on my TV, sitting in my living room, not sitting behind my desk, clicking away with a mouse on a keyboard trying to play a fighting game. No, thank you. Um, and I know you can probably, you can plug in controllers and stuff on PC and use controllers um, as well, but that's, that's just not the point. The, the point is, is, if you want a game to be truly popular and be successful, release it on all platforms, except for mobile. Mobile games are terrible. Um, getting back to Ryu, or sorry, Ryu Ranger is what they're calling him. Um, like I said, his character model is already in the Power Rangers Legacy Wars video game. Um, I don't like it. Obviously, he's supposed to be uh, some kind of form of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger because he's using the power coins, he's using the, uh, the Mighty Morphin uh, Power Morphers or the Dino Buckler, as they're called in the Japanese series of uh, uh, Kiryu Sentai Zyu Ranger. It just doesn't seem right either, because apparently his when he morphs into a ranger, his powers uh, are representative of a bird, like a like a hawk or a falcon. They're not being really specific about that. But that's another problem. That's another inconsistent problem right there. His name is Ryu. In, ja in, in Japanese, Ryu means dragon. So you figure he'd be a dragon ranger, not a bird ranger of sorts. It just doesn't make much sense. And to make matters worse, we already have a Ryu Ranger. Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger, which is the series that came right after Kyoryu Sentai Zyu Ranger, which we called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But oh no, Saban wanted to basically merge three series together, that being Zyu Ranger, Dai Ranger, and Kaku Ranger. Kaku Ranger being the alien rangers that he just totally blew everybody's minds with. Not in a good way either. I'd have rather blown my brains out. But, of course, uh, from Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger, all he took from that series was the White Ranger for Tommy, and then put it back with the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or the Zeo Rangers, and everything was just all screwed up from there. So... Uh, but anyway, like I said, Ryu Ranger, we already have one. He's the Red Ranger from Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger. And he actually has a dragon zord. He's, he's, you know, he's represented by a dragon. So that makes sense to call him Ryu Ranger. To call this one Ryu Ranger, just because the guy's name is Ryu, 
and now he's a Power Ranger. Oh, let's just be lazy and call him Rio Ranger. It doesn't work that way, especially if you're just going to give him a bird as his as his uh, his representing powers. So it's it's just weird. I'm to not to mention it's Ryu from Street Fighter. He's a Power Ranger now. This makes no sense. I mean, if you can make Ryu a Power Ranger, why don't you make uh, Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat a Power Ranger? Call him Kang Ranger. It, it would make it makes no sense, guys. You see what I'm trying to get at? Since and since when did Tommy have the ability to make power coins? Wasn't that Zordon and Alpha's thing? That this is this is bringing up more questions than it's you know than than answers. Anyway, I'm just going to end up ranting more and more and more about this. As I've stated before, if you think this concept, this notion, is entertaining, if you think you're going to like it, that's fine. Go right ahead and like it. But as a purist, a true Super Sentai fan, I can't abide by it. I can't. It's, it's, it's almost it's unacceptable to me. I can't, I can't accept it as actually being valid in my... Super Sentai universe. I know everyone keeps trying to tell me, oh, Power Rangers is different than Super Sentai. To me, no, it's not. To me, Power Rangers, when I, was, when I was growing up watching these series, Power Rangers was always just an adaptation of the Japanese series of the show, of Super Sentai. So therefore, I should just change my motto altogether. I should just basically change my motto to, if it didn't exist in Super Sentai, it shouldn't exist at all. There, I said it. That's, but that's just my opinion. That's the way I look at it. A lot of people out there are different. A lot of people say, oh, well, change is good. Or I like it when they shake things up, make good guys villains, make villains uh, good guys. Um, but then, uh, but, but you see what kind of problems that, that can cause. I mean, last time they tried to make villains good guys or good guys villains, we got stuff like Suicide Squad. And that movie bombed bigger than... Hiroshima. <laughs> uh, bad joke. Anyway, that is my thoughts so far on the short film Power Rangers Legacy Wars due to release this fall by YouTube channel Bat in the Sun. And Bat in the Sun, they do great work. They really are good at what they do. I enjoyed several of their videos so far that I've seen. Um, this, this, however, I just... I'll watch it. I will. I'll watch it to see what it's all about. But I'm not. Uh, I know I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, I, I just know I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, Jason David Frank being the only uh, saving grace about the entire thing, uh, more than likely. Um, I just can't wrap my head around the fact that uh, uh, they're making legendary rangers such as the Dino Thunder Black Ranger, which is Tommy. They're they're making him a totally different person apparently from what i've seen and he's evil like they're they're fighting against him trying to beat him so i i'm gonna watch the trailer a couple more times and analyze it but i've already watched it probably three times now um and again all these opinions all everything that i'm saying is just based off of my opinion from seeing the trailer um i've seen a couple of behind the scenes uh you know footage already starting to surface um and again it looks like they had a great time making it but uh, I just hope that everybody who is excited for it will have just as great a time at watching it as they did making it, obviously. Um, so that's my thoughts on uh, Power Rangers Legacy Wars short film coming this fall and Ryu Ranger, which I don't want to keep calling him Ryu Ranger. I know his name's Ryu, but I don't want to keep calling him that because we already have a Ryu Ranger. Thank you very much. So... Until next week, guys, uh, this was our discussion. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments in the section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you excited for this short film coming this fall? Um, or are you with me? Are you on my side with the fact that um, they need to stop? They need to stop trying to uh, uh, change and degrade uh, our childhood <laughs> um, just to suit them, just so they can make money. And, uh, and it's not going to stop there, guys. There's going to be... Uh, uh, there's going to be toys, um, there's going to be uh, all sorts of collectibles, there's going to be fan art, posters, there's going to be props, there's going to be cosplay, 
of the Ryu Ranger character. Um, and uh, again, they're, they're, I think they're doing it just to make more money, just to make a quick buck. Let's just create a Ranger off of another, you know, based off of another popular character, and let's sell more toys. Um, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. <sighs> Such is life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week. This concludes our broadcast day.